Hello everyone, this is Wade from High Tech Legion, and with over a thousand videos uploaded, if you haven't seen it here, you may not have seen it anywhere. What I'm going to be doing today is giving you an overview and showing you benchmarks for the EVGA Supernova 1000 Watt G2 power supply. Um, so let's take a closer look at the power supply itself, and I'll show you what it looks like, what it comes with, um, and how it performs with benchmarks. So here we have a closer look at the EVGA Supernova 1000 G2 power supply. And on the left side of it, um, you've got your uh, power chart here, which shows us that the 12 volt rail is capable of 83.3 amps and 999.6 watts. Um, you do have a single 12 volt rail and this is a fully modular power supply so it doesn't have any cables coming out of it until you're ready to use it. Now some people seem to think that the idea of not having the 24 pin cable hardwired and maybe the CPU cable hardwired is kind of um, unnecessary but when you're going for the cleanest build possible having a fully modular power supply is really nice because you can run all your cables easily before hooking them into the power supply unit so all our connections here we've got our 24 pin uh, motherboard connection where your modular cable will plug in you've got six VGA connections for your VGA cables and then you have four for your SATA, two for CPU power and two for peripherals. They do use a dual layer uh, vertical transformer to output a higher amount of power and all the capacitors that are used are Japanese capacitors so you get the highest quality components possible. On the back side you've got a grill for some airflow and your power plug and power switch. And then on the fan side you can see the EVGA logo and the 1000 watts here as well as a nice uh, ball bearing fan here that will uh, keep the power supply cool but it's also very quiet tuned to uh, not really make a lot of noise. Let me show you the accessories that come with the power supply and then we'll show some benchmarks. First thing you do is you get some velcro wraps for your cables. You get four power supply screws. A quick little user manual. They do include a bag for storing any excess cables and the power supply itself also comes in a bag shipped in a bag uh, to keep it protected for your cables you've got a VGA cable with a single uh, 6 plus 2 pin connection a second VGA cable with a 6 plus 2 pin connection you have a Another VGA cable that has a 6 pin and a 6 pin plus 2. Another one that has 6 plus 2. An additional one that has 6 plus 2. And then another cable with the 6 pin and a 6 plus 2 pin connection. So for a total of two that have a 6 plus 2 and a 6 and four that have a 6 plus 2 connection. You have your 24 pin motherboard connection, a heavy duty power plug, a peripheral which has a floppy disk cable as well as two 4 pin Molex connections, a 4 pin plus 4 pin CPU connection, a cable with three SATA, 
connections, another one with two SATA connections, another one with three SATA connections, cable with three four pin Molex, a cable with two more SATA, and a cable with uh, an additional cable with two four plus four, or four plus four pin for an eight pin CPU connector. So now let's take a look at how this performed and the benchmarks. As you can see from the benchmarks, this power supply performed very well with very little uh, voltage dip. Um, really, we only saw 0.01 and 0.02, which is minimal and would not affect a system at all. You can also see that the accessory kit really is uh, very large for uh, up this power supply, and all the cabling is a nice quality, which is fully sleeved, um, if you didn't notice that before. It is also an 80 plus gold rated power supply, so it has, um, you know, Typically, it runs around 90% efficiency with uh, load, um, and minimally at 100%, it'll run at 87%. Also, you because it's EVGA, you get their world-renowned customer service, and also a 10-year warranty on this power supply, which is one of the best ones that I've seen uh, in the industry. I hope you all enjoyed this overview and the benchmarks for the EVGA Supernova 1000G2 power supply. For the full, for the full review, please see www.hitechlegion.com and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook pages. Take care.